recently um, built a laneway house or partially built, partially had built a laneway house and part of the design that we put into it was um, passive solar so basically just orienting the windows and I think things like passive solar or capturing r rain water off of the roof um, those like super simple sustainability things are so awesome and then putting shutters so when it's really hot you can cover it up so you don't get that heat in and in the winter time you can get that heat in. I read a lot about in Germany the whole concept of the passive house um, basically having no heating system necessary just by having a lot of thermal mass like a concrete floor or a wall, um, tiled wall so that it captures that heat during the day and then lets it off and even just having a really well insulated building so um, just body heat from people in the building actually keep it warm and there's no need for a heating or an air conditioning system so that was definitely a concept that I had in mind um, and we seem to have achieved that in really cold months we might need a little bit of a supplement but the passive solar is working out pretty good. On City Council the main area that I see and it's based on kind of where most greenhouse gas emissions come from is on transportation. I definitely advocate as hard as I try to demonstrate through my own lifestyle. Transit obviously has huge potential, um, reducing urban sprawl, reducing the amount of roads that we need or needing double lane roads, there's huge potential. And then cycling as well. The population of Kamloops is 60% of the population is in the valley bottom, which is completely bikeable. All of the buses have a double bike rack, so when you use multimodal transportation, you can go up the hill quite easily. And then coming down is a lot of fun, but with transportation, there's, that's one area that I have been advocating for quite hard, both the last term and this term on City Council, and there's a lot of uh, potential, I think, in that area. It's always kind of a chicken and the egg because a lot of people are invested. When you purchase an automobile, you've put a lot of money into it and you've got insurance payments, so you're kind of locked into a system. So it's really hard, and that was one of the main reasons I was working on the car share. It's sort of an intermediary where it's hard to get people to completely give up a vehicle and switch to taking the bus or biking. And if they have, that they're paying that three or four dollars insurance a day, there's an incentive for them to use their car rather than taking the bus. So if you can sort of give people the security through a car share that they can try the bus, but if they need to, they have a vehicle available. That was one of the main reasons I was involved with the car share. It sort of adds a little step in that spectrum of different, more sustainable transportation options that people have. The people that inspired me, basically my parents for the most part, I grew up on a family farm near Chase. They were always very involved with sustainable initiatives, both environmental and social justice related stuff. They definitely inspired me. Nowadays, I have, now I have two nieces as of a couple of days ago, and my nieces definitely inspire me to make sure that the world is a, continues to be a positive place for them, and, and as well just any young person that I come across, they inspire me to make sure that I keep working away, chipping away at, at things. I get really excited by sustainability initiatives like electric cars. They, uh, in the long run, actually are cheaper than gas-powered cars like riding my bike has spin-off health benefits and walking and taking the bus I meet people and it kind of connects the neighborhood I find and I've met a lot of people just walking in the neighborhood that I wouldn't have otherwise if I was in a little pod driving somewhere so I found that most sustainability initiatives that I've been involved with have come with a lot of positive benefits. The lowest hanging fruit um, that kind of touch on sort of um, three major areas are the first one is growing your own food local food, obviously food that's come from long distances or that's really processed is a lot more energy intensive. Obviously shopping in the farmer's market as well, focusing on your diet and usually it comes with huge health benefits too when you grow your own food. So growing your own food, having some garden space in your yard if you have a yard or some planters on your deck if you have a patio in an apartment. Second one is leaving the car at home for one or more days a week and walking, uh, taking the bus or riding your bike and obviously th there's huge health benefits that come along with that. And then the third one is just talking to a friend or family member about some of the things that you do and discussing why it's important, why you think it's important to have a more sustainable life, so kind of raising awareness. As a city councillor, I have an opportunity to kind of affect policy change within the municipality and I've had a list of things that have been brought forward. So this term, urban hens legalized and banned pesticides. 
still working on more of the sort of energy side of things. It'd be awesome to have one of the parkades with solar over the top of it or something like that. Whenever I find articles or research, I always pass them on to the senior administrators to build the case for doing things like that. Basically from a policy perspective is where the area that I've been focusing on lately where I feel like I have the most opportunity to impact change. Kind of leading by example, and that's a, a tenant that I try to live by is if I'm talking about something and I have to be able to demonstrate that I can do it myself too. I'm not going to expect somebody to ride their bike in the rain if I'm not doing it myself. Yeah, actually Arjun Singh, he told me just when I first got on council, it was a bit tough at first because there's a bit of a learning curve and I was getting a bit demoralized, but he was like, just the fact that you're on council and you're more of a public figure and so then all of the, all of the things that you do are sort of amplified by the position that you have. Sort of leading by example, I think, does have an impact, I like to think. It's not, sometimes it's not tangible, but I get emails sometimes from people just being like, keep up the good work, I love what you're doing about such and such. So moving into the laneway house will be one city council related projects that I, I want to continue to move forward. Like I mentioned, moving away from natural gas if possible in some cases. Um, there are some buildings in the municipality like the TCC that are partially heated by geothermal and stuff like that so that that knowledge is starting to become more and more kind of entrenched but mostly with city council and kind of moving initiatives through so there's a lot of opportunity for the municipal workforce to also lead by example with different practices within the city because city workers are out in the community all over things like landscaping some of the boulevards now are zero escaped and showing people what they can do on their own personal properties there's a lot of potential for sustainable sort of ripples to happen through the municipality oh personal weaknesses um apparently i have really weak teeth so since i got an electric toothbrush my uh <laughs> prevalence of cavities has gone way down so i'm not giving out my electric toothbrush <laughs> Anybody I see changing their habits or making an effort to live more sustainably, I think are my superheroes. Whenever I see somebody uh, trying something new or kind of pushing themselves to live more sustainably, those are the people that really inspire me and I kind of feed off of and get inspiration from. Marshall McLuhan, uh, the quote about, I forget exactly how it goes, but it's basically that on spaceship Earth, there's no passengers, we're all crew, so we all basically have to care for the planet. We, nobody can just sit back and relax and let everybody else do the work. We all have to be involved in making sure the planet is taken care of. Try something new. Sustainability isn't as hard as you think. <laughs>